Get really in there. Stick that schnoz in there, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Really pick up those <laughs> really? Christmas Eve flavors. I'm a dancer. And I'm a traveler. And wherever I go, I experience the world one dance at a time. I'm Michaela Malazzi, and this is Bare Feet. Our next stop is to the birthplace of golf, St. Andrews. This town is not only the home to one of the largest and most important churches in medieval Scotland, but has become a foodie's haven. I met with Alan Chalmers, local walking food tour guide in St. Andrews, who was going to give me a taste of Scotland's delicacies, especially since the local food scene here has expanded tremendously in recent years. Alan, so what's our next stop? I'm now taking you off to Forgans and we're going to try some haggis. Ah, traditional haggis. Let's go. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, all we hear about is haggis here in Scotland. Yes. Explain a little bit what exactly haggis is. This is one of the few things I can say is genuinely Scottish, but it's a poor person's dish. And this is why it scares a lot of people off because it was only the peasants that ate this. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what's left from the sheep, from the lamb, mm -hmm. once all the good cuts of meat are taken away. So, so this, this is was, everything else this is that everything you don't else want. You don't want. Right. Mixed with oatmeal. Ah. Uh, some spices, salt, pepper, mace, nothing too exciting. Uh -huh. uh, so you've got haggis, neeps, tatties. Not quite as scary as it was, but it's quite like the genuine article. Yeah. And they've made it a bit more exciting. They've put a whiskey cream, whiskey cream sauce over the top of it as well. For you. A little high-end so, high yeah. haggis yeah. for us. So you have to try it. Please. Yeah. And so this is a very, 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 very traditional dish here in Scotland. Oh, yes, yes. All right, I'm going to try. And you eat it with the bite with each? Yeah. A mega bite. What do you say for cheers? Or? Slange. 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 Mmm. Oh, wow. That's very good. Very spiced. Very spicy, yeah. Mmm. I always like to put the spice in there to hide the fat. It's <laughs> delicious. I like it. Don't be afraid of haggis. Come to Scotland and try a bite of it. It's delicious. Cheers. 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 Slange. 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 Thank you. Slange. 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 There we go. So Archie, we are going to make a hot toddy. That's right. Because today it is very cold in St. Andrews. It is. It um, is. You know, a hot toddy is, in Scotland, it's the ultimate cure-all. It fixes head colds. It kind of warms you up on kind of a cold winter's day. Okay. Slange of Slange of And it's nice and warm. Oh, it's hot. And the nice thing about this is you can add more honey mm. to your taste, you know, kind of. I think I just swallowed a clove. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. Watch this entire episode and other Barefeet Dance Adventures on your local PBS station, on the PBS app, or on PBS.org. Or just click right here to watch more. And be sure to find us online at TravelBarefeet.com. Happy travels!